Hi, my name is Michael Keeler. My name is Deacon Mac Hill. My name is uh, Deacon Mike Elias. And I will be ordained a priest on May 15th. And I will be ordained a priest on May 15th. And my ordination date is May 15th of this year. Most, I think most favorite has to be right now St. Faustina, uh, the divine mercy that God has revealed through her that he opens up his heart to the whole world before he, be, before he comes as the final judge. And I think that message is such of an awesome message. And her life, you know, being a peasant, um, grew up with nothing, had nothing, and yet uh, she made it as a saint. And uh, that, that is really uh, very inspiring to me. And that, that's why I think she, and like, you know, Pope John Paul II, who is such a genius, and gave all that up to, to do God's work. And for me, those people are really um, my most favorite. My favorite saint is St. Therese um, for a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, her, you know, uh, little way of love um, is really, is really a big way. I mean, it's little in the sense that it's not asking any of us to do extraordinary uh, things of, of, you know, great displays of sanctity, but at the same time, it's recognizing that our primary vocation is to love God and to love others. And within that, um, her special calling was and is um, to, to help seminarians and priests specifically. And I've really felt uh, her presence, especially um, in time when I uh, was my most difficult, most challenging time when I was in uh, kind of still beginning seminary, I found uh, I read her story of the soul and I really felt her her presence, her intercession, encouraging me and helping me to continue on. So I'm really um, indebted to, to St. Therese for my vocation. Our all faithful uh, has got to be St. Paul um, for a couple of reasons. You know, I grew up going to, to St. Paul's parish. Uh, but also, I, I feel like I just click with him. You know, he had a big conversion experience on, on the road to Damascus and like it changed the whole course of his life and affected everything that he did. And yeah, from that point forward, he was a missionary and just would not stop proclaiming the gospel. And I find that very inspiring and uh, consider him, you know, my patron saint because um, I kind of, yeah, I want to follow in his footsteps.